Welcome everyone back to Pam and Rev Simple Cooking. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and staying cool. Um, today we are going to make um, a few things. Mm -hmm. um, we've decided to make some um, corn on the cob. I'm gonna make some kalaloo slash charai bhaji with shrimps. And I'm gonna make some Guyanese style duff. And over here I have ground turkey already went ahead and I seasoned this with a quarter cup of um, breadcrumbs, a teaspoon of salt, a pinch of black pepper and two cloves of garlic and one egg. Um, well, of course, you know, my boys, they will not have bhaji and duff, so they're going to have corn and burgers for dinner. So I went ahead. And I have the water boiling with a teaspoon of salt. And these are the white and the yellow corn. They are absolutely delicious. Sweet like sugar. So I'm just going to put this in. I always let the water come to a boil. And I just let it sit in here for about five minutes. And they're done. Because I don't like the corn kernels to be soggy. Nice and firm. When you're eating corn and in here my shrimp i went ahead and seasoned also with some green seasoning and a pinch of salt so i have some olive oil already heating up and i'm just gonna add this in from my stove back up and it's an absolutely gorgeous day out today I'm just going to let the shrimp fry for about five minutes. I had the bhaji um, prepped already and it was in the freezer. So I took it out this morning to um, for it to defrost. So I'm going to let the shrimp fry for about five minutes. And here I have um, a tomato cut up with some scallions, two wiri wiri and some onions and two cloves of garlic. That's for the bhaji. And for the um, duff, I have um, a wiri wiri pepper, some onions, and some scallions, all diced up, and I'm just gonna add this in here. I'm just gonna grab a spoon. So, just gonna add a half a teaspoon of um, baking powder. Wash this. And I'm gonna add some butter, about a tablespoon of butter. Oh, and everything falls apart. I'm going to add a pinch of salt, not too much. Put some salt in your phone? Yeah, I already added salt. And I am going to add a pinch of sugar as well. Not too much sugar. Let's check back on the shrimp. The shrimp like two more minutes. And it should be ready. Just gonna lower the stove on the shrimp. And I'm gonna get some warm water. Just gonna uh, mix this up. I started making this um, a few years ago, well, more than a few years ago, for have um, his mom 
made this one time we were visiting and it was just an absolutely um, delicious um, the way she made it and we had it with fish curry in Guyana so I tried a few times but of course no it doesn't come out like hers you know she had a special touch to this so I asked my niece do you remember what your grandmother used to put in this so she said you can add you know whatever you desire what type of um, seasoning you like so today I decided to try it with the scallions and the onion and the pepper and just keep kneading this Corn is bubbling away. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and continue. Hey you guys, I finished kneading the um, dove and I went ahead and I took the shrimp out and I'm just gonna put in all the ingredients to fry the bhaji next. And here I have some water heating up with some olive oil. So once that comes to a boil, I'm gonna um, put the duff in to cook. And the corn have about five more minutes. No, less than five more minutes. Okay, I'm just gonna let this fry for two minutes and then I'm gonna add the bhaji to, um, to it. Everything is all nice and fried up. I'm going to add the bhaji now. This is one of my favorite bhaji to eat. It's absolutely delicious. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. I'm not going to put too much salt, being that I added salt to the shrimp. And I'm also not going to put coconut milk in this. Um, I don't want it to have that Swedish taste. So I'm gonna let this cook halfway, about 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna add the shrimp back again. This is not gonna take like less than half hour to cook, being that I steamed it for a few minutes. So I'm just gonna lower the heat and I'm gonna cover it and let it cook for 15 minutes. I went ahead and I turned the stove off for the corn, so this is what it's looking like. And I'm just gonna let it sit in the hot water. So here my water is coming to a boil and I'm just gonna um, add some olive oil to my fingers. So I'm getting ready to uh, make the duff. And you don't have to make them too big. Well, this is the way I saw my mother-in-law made it. And just drop them in the hot water. Oops. And this takes about hmm, six minutes or something to cook. And then once it's finished, then I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of seasoning on top and just let's see. Let me two more and that's it. Uh oh, getting a little sticky here. Uh oh, yep, and I'll let this cook. 
for five minutes and then I'll take it off. I went ahead and I drained the um, dough and I just added a pinch of black pepper and complete seasoning and adobo. And I'm just gonna toss this up for about three minutes. And that's about it with this. Okay, this is all done. It smells really good. And I'm just gonna turn the stove off and start taking them out. Then I'm gonna check on the baji and add the shrimp. This is so much quicker to make than roti. Okay, and our dough is completed. Just gonna move this and I'm just gonna check Uh, it's already cooked, so I'm just gonna add the shrimp back to this. And you know, again, you know, please taste for salt or just and adjust your seasoning if you like. But um, you know. Everyone cooks differently. All right, so I'm just gonna let this cook five more minutes and that should be done. Okay, um, starting with the turkey burgers. In my pan, I have some olive oil and butter and I went ahead, I'm gonna do four at a time. And I have some um, olive oil and butter. I'm just gonna add these and the heat is on low. This is my son's recipe. Fried in butter and everything tastes delicious. Okay, and I'm just gonna let this cook for about three minutes and then I'll flip it over. Okay, the burgers are frying nicely. I'm just gonna flip them over. Okay, excellent. So I am gonna cover this and make sure they get fully cooked. Okay guys, I'm checking back on the baji. And this is all done. I tasted if it needed more salt and it does not need anything else. So I'm just gonna turn the stove off. And let me check on the burger really quick. This has about a minute more and I'm gonna take this out and start on the second set. Okay, everyone, dinner is complete. We have our turkey burger with Swiss cheese. And of course you can add whatever fixings you like to your burger, but um, my kids, simple. And here we have our corn on cob, white and yellow, our duff and our chari bhaji with shrimp. I hope you guys give this a try and it's really excellent quick easy and of course the chef gets a glass of white wine to go with this so please like share and subscribe and thank you for your support and i'll see you guys in the next video